honestly don't give a fuck. For the people that support somebody like that, y'all sad. Y'all, y'all mo- like y'all mothers never loved y'all, especially if y'all men. Ooh. Y'all hate women. Y'all mother didn't love y'all. Ooh. Y'all should have been swallowed. Y'all don't know how to love females. <laughs> Some more people to join. <sighs> do I want to go? No, I don't. Yeah, can you hear me or no? Finally, I right, here we go. Good, I'm happy y'all can hear me. <laughs> I can hear you now. She about to get it. She about to get it. About to go in, y'all. I'm not Eddie. Uh, Eddie. I'm not adding no one. Damn. Damn, I don't know. She turned real bitchy lately. <sighs> well, she's always been a bitch. Oh, God, something. Go to sleep is past your bedtime. <laughs> I'm tired of certain shit. So you ch- you pregnant with Shadi's child? <laughs> Yo, they going crazy out here. What time is it there? He was crying. No, I just woke up. It's two fifty. Let me tell y'all something. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. Now, I really don't have no hate in my heart for nobody at all whatsoever. Because I'm grown enough to just accept things for what they are and what they were and move the fuck on with my life. But apparently, you know, people can bow out gracefully. I don't know why I said gracefully like that. Gracefully. Lips done. You can tell. Yeah, her teeth. The letter, he is messed up. No, bitch. You can leave my fucking life because I don't need no interruptions. <laughs> This letter, like my thing is, I've only retaliated in defense to things that I had to defend myself against. That was put out about me, you know? So it's just like, we're a whole year later, and out of the many things, you choose to still run with that shit to justify, because you feel like that was the your own only justification about saying something as stupid as that because it is fucking stupid at that point it's just like oh i am so sorry i am a role model blah 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 you know but this is what they did to me it's like you really taking half ass accountability like that shit is corny i mean okay so basically she's talking about uh 6 ix interview, if you guys haven't seen the 6 9 interview, I, I got some of it on the last video that was put out. So, basically, uh, this is a response to 6 9s uh, interview. Um, I listen to it entirely for what itself, you know, and some people could have their opinions on what they think of it, some people could like it, some people could not like it, you know, but hey, I mean, that's, it is what it is, but I'm gonna tell you this, man, it sounds pretty believable. I'm not saying that 6 ix 9 is lying. I'm not saying he's telling the truth. 
but it, it, it seems like he's he 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 could be telling the truth this time. And I've said this a long time ago. I've always had a feeling that Sarah was getting it in with one of Six Nine's boys. Cause listen, man, Six Nine's an asshole himself, so we can't act like he's an angel, okay? He's not. But the people around him, he made the people around him who they are because of how he was acting, you know. But those people were probably like that to begin with. So I don't know. But at the end of the day, you know, Sarah is not a saint either. And neither is 6 9 But in this situation, I can solely, you know, favor, on my opinion, uh, 6 9 in this story. It kind of seems like it's a lot believable. And I, I, I had a feeling she was smashing the homies, man. Sarah, 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 Sarah got that Treyway stick, man. She definitely got it in from Treyway, man. But anyways, let's keep going. You're not a changed person. You're still a narcissist. For you to the fact that people are still like, oh, but that's your child's father, blah blah blah. I you're you're tranquila. Like I've been mad calm. I've been going through my own shit and handling certain things. And it's just like, why, why, why mention me? Like, I there's so much shit that I would like. I hold back that I could really shit on this nigga. That he's stupid because he forgets that people close to him still be opening their mouths to people close to me so it's just like niggas don't know that he sees like and that's kind of true though because niggas in the hood is still gonna talk shit man let's just be real man they all bitter a lot of people are bitter they hurt i don't even think as much that they're mad at the fact that he locked these niggas up i think it's just the fact that he's making more money and being more successful now and they're just kind of like he left them in the dust <laughs> he's moved on He's going to Hollywood, but I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily wife up any chick if I got to Hollywood, because I already know most of those chicks that's with me. Just in it for the bag. <laughs> that he's mocking everybody that's still in jail. He's coming home and going to have a big fucking celebration for him being free. Nobody knows that, but I know that through his people. Like... This is a game to him. He's like, his favorite thing is to shit on people, and this is what he's doing. He's not taking any accountability. I don't know who's telling the lie here, because it's like, we get a different side of 6 9 on what Sarah's saying, but Sarah could be a ultimate narcissist. Is Sarah... Milano, our narcissist. Because it kind of seems like she is doing this shit, but she did admit. I wish that 6ix9ine was able to get this recording, man. Was able to get this on recording that she says she smashed shot. Because if she would have if he would have gotten this on recording, that would have been such full evidence right there. Because you can't hide shit that's being recorded. You feel me? You can't hide that shit. No, I'm not crying. I just woke up. He's a villain. Let me tell you something. <laughs> he is a fucking sad boy. Oh, what was me? Look, look what they did to me. Look what they did to me. Oh, they did this. They did that. They wasn't doing it. If, if, if that's the case, and that was the truth, which is not. Nobody stole hundreds of thousand dollars from you. Nobody did what you're saying they did. It's just like, if that was the truth, mm. like, niggas did that before you was doing all the bullshit you was doing. Ordering hits on people and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you know what? That's some crazy ass shit, though. That's some crazy ass... How the fuck you ordering hits on TMZ, nigga? <laughs> like what the fuck is this this nigga he, he put it out hits on live tv like he ordering pizza some shit yeah i, I would like the thirty thousand headshot to the combo with extra lettuce and tomatoes and cheese come on man 
This nigga was out here doing hits. And we ain't talk about music, nigga. We talk about doing hits. Hits on live camera on TMZ. Come on, get, get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Come on. Having niggas, these niggas shoot in broad daylight for you and shit because you said so. Like, what are you talking about? Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why does she always zoom in on her big head like that? I'm just saying. Why am I talking about that man? Because that man is talking about me. His half ass fucking. You know, so funny, you know. <laughs> Fellas can testify this, man. How many of y'all fellas got, got a lady out there? Or was dealing with a lady or probably just recently got into a breakup or something? Whenever a female is talking shit about you, bro. <laughs> she can't get you out of her mind. <laughs> Listen, man. This is all a game, man. This is all a game, man. And it's like, I kind of, as crazy as it is, man. I would go with 6 9 on this shit, bro. I think 6 9 do some dumbass shit, but he also kind of lies on certain things. But in a way, he doesn't lie, but he just does the shit. Like, if you ask him if he did it, but then again, I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to tell because 6 9 is also a narcissistic, narcissistic type of person himself, too. So, god damn, man. They both, they both kind of nutty. I'm just saying. No, it's a, he admitted to it. I ain't dry snitching or something. Dry snitching is if you putting out there something that people don't really know. Nigga, he, he singing on himself or everybody. What the fuck? Now, nah, actually, dry snitching is like, well, dry snitching is actually putting out stuff on people. Well, I guess you could be right on that. Yeah, and stuff that they don't really is that is that dry and shit. Let me look at the let me look at the the Urban Dictionary, man. Let's get the Urban Dictionary because I could I could be wrong. I don't think dry snitching is that though. Let me see if I can get the definition. Let me get the Urban Dictionary. Let me get the ghetto ass dictionary. Let me see if I What's the definition of a dry snitch, man? Anybody know? Anybody in the comment sheet know? Y'all know what a dry snitch is? Cause I don't really know too much about this street code shit. I ain't, I'm I'm like raised in the streets, but I ain't like street street. You know what I mean? I ain't a street nigga. I was just raised in the streets. There you go. That's perfect. Shit. Now my my uh, I'm looking through my phone here, and uh, my phone is like frozen and shit. Hold on, I'm trying to get. Let me go to Google. Damn it, my phone's acting stupid. Hold on, guys, my bad. I apologize, man. My phone is acting dumb. I don't know. I don't know the whole street terms. Maybe, hey, maybe she could be right. Well, fuck it, man. We we ain't gonna get too much into it. Then. My phone's acting crazy. I was trying to get the real definition of it. I don't think that's the definition, but anyways. What are you talking about? I've had this man have pe have had people. Anything I've ever said about this man, I've said it. I've never needed nobody to fight my battles. I've never. If anybody speaks up, you know, that's because they choose to. He's over here sending people academics whoever to purposely speak on my name to purposely drag me but i'm his the mother of his child just so he can get out and go to and get to do whatever the fuck he was doing before he got in minus the gang activity because gang gang gonna fuck with him he's still gonna be evil he's still gonna cheat he's still gonna be a nasty person Damn, she really put his name out there. <laughs> Did you see the way she looked, bro? Let me tell you something, man. This is revenge of the angry baby mamas, man. 
when these baby mamas get mad, they gonna try to, they will drag your name down to the dirt. They want to make sure that she, let me tell you something. She's a vindictive, evil bitch, bro. She's trying to make sure the whole world hates this nigga, bro. The whole world hates this nigga, dog. She probably want him to get killed. Don't be surprised. She probably wish every day that this nigga gets shot, get killed, man. You got to be away from these type of toxic type women, man. This is crazy, but let me tell you something. There are some vengeful women that are like that. Don't be surprised if she ain't doing Blue Aida or Santaria on this nigga. Because gang ain't going to fuck with him. He's still going to be evil. He's still going to cheat. He's still going to be a nasty person. Yes, he's a rat. He's a snitch. Look at all these comments. <laughs> these thirsty ass niggas. Look at that. All from dudes. Yeah, he's a rat. Yeah, he's thirsty. He's a, he's a he's a snitch. Hey, can you hit me on my DMs? <laughs> <laughs> all these niggas just want to smash. They don't give a damn what you got to say. Let's go live, baby girl. <laughs> Oh shit, this is funny as hell. You got the you got the whole sip community. These sips is just ready, man. Ready for that. Sarah. I ain't gonna lie, that bitch thick though. <laughs> she can get it. I ain't gonna lie. Six nine baby moms. I don't know if y'all seen recent pictures of her. She can get it, but still, man. I ain't doing this thirsty shit on A I G man. That's just too much. Hey, he a rat, snitch. You just trying to get credit, niggas, to get closer to the poo tang. And you got this nigga by the name of Treddy Kevs. Let's go live, baby girl. Oh, goofy ass looking motherfucker. Let's keep playing. He made that letter about what they, what, what people did to him. It wasn't a very remorseful letter. But he's not saying what the fuck he did to people. Like, why did she do that with that goddamn camera, man? Oh, now she moved it a little bit. But like with her damn forehead. Every time she moved, man, she needs a she needs a person to hold that camera. Man. What the fuck he did to people like that forehead zoom shot. Come on now, let's talk about it. Uh oh. Fuck oh, this is not gonna fit. Come on now. The day that I came out that he um, admitted domestic violence on me after I lied this whole year. Shadow texted me his security. Mm. Well. This is what Shadow wrote. I wish I would have insta-sized it. Matter of fact, I'm going to get back on live. Well, she did cover for him, though. You know, she did say that she didn't get hit to help his case. Six nine got him some. I kind of yeah. believe the. I kind of believe her, and I and I and I and I think she's lying too, man. See, this is the thing, man, with Sarah, man. It's like I'm for her and I'm against her at the same time because and the same thing with Six Nine. They both lie to each other, though. If you really look at it, both of them lied to each other. They both were on some bullshit. Both of them did some dumb shit to each other. So it is what it is. Mira, look, Pops, I am on a fucking roll right now. I need some more people to join. Like, I haven't mentioned nothing about this man other than what the fuck be going on. What I be tired with. Big lips. Period, E. Niggas is disrespectful today. <laughs> niggas disrespectful. <laughs> I read it in your voice. Disrespectful, niggas. Oh, deep ass look. Deep ass look. Damn, her lips. I left that nigga. That's why. Her lips are big as hell. He wants to make it about all... Oh, he can never take ownership for the shit he does. It's all, oh, everybody's against me. He loves feeling hated on. Like, that's one thing. And fucking, 
he he's not owning up to what the fuck he did, bro. She do look like she got that face time. <laughs> yeah, catch my drip. She got that face time, boy. Face time, head ass girl. He he feel like he could win putting shit out on social media because he had a, such a big influence, impact, and following on social media that they'll run with what he says over my over what I say, which is facts. Like my nigga, I was a liar about him beating me. He never beat me. Even with pictures and fucking videos, my nigga. Pictures and videos. Cause that wasn't enough proof for y'all. Then when he came and then <laughs> Shadow, his security, will like comments of me. Hold on. Did she say poof? Hold on. Enough poof for y'all. <laughs> he he felt like he could win putting shit out on social media because he had a, such a big influence, impact, and following on social media that they'll run with what he says over my over what I say, which is facts. Like my nigga, I was a liar about him beating me. He never beat me. Even with pictures and fucking videos, my nigga. Pictures and videos. Because that wasn't enough proof for y'all. <laughs> then when he came, and then Shadow, his security, would like comments of me speaking up. He would have never addressed it, though, because it wasn't out publicly. Like, there wasn't, like, he didn't, Danny didn't step forward and say anything publicly. <laughs> oh, man. Until um around the time that the trial started that it came out, rapper six nine has admitted to seven years domestic violence against the mother of his child and his on again off again girlfriend Sarah Molina in what she spoke about in the Daily Beast and other publications because this motherfucker was over here throwing dirt on my name like he had any right to. That's me and Shadow. As soon as it came out, Shadow said, oh, text me, sis. So I said, hey, Shadow. He goes, hey, sis. I'm so fucking happy they made his uh, his bum ass. Okay, all right. This is what I'm talking about, man. Stars script. I, this is the same shit that I was thinking about right now. Why you smash shoddy? <laughs> With your big ass FaceTime head. Come on, man. FaceTime head ass. Listen, man. I don't give a damn about all this emotional shit. I just want to know why you smashed the homies. Why did you smash the homies? Sarah, why you smash the homies, nigga? Own up to that shit. I'm happy you finally get vindicated. All the things you spoke about on him are coming to light. One day, if I write a book, I'll speak on Dubai. But what people don't know is I put my... Oh, great. Now we got to have to buy a fucking book. It's <laughs> just to find out what happened in Dubai. She about to get this money, y'all, because y'all idiots about to buy this book to find out what happened in her relationship with domestic violence, man. This is why I told you, man. This whole pack of Sarah six nine and the baby moms and all that. This is this is just a real life fucking sitcom, bro. And they all profited off it. And they're making money off this shit. This is entertainment at its finest. My hands on him after you came banging on my door. I told him, fuck you and your money. I got daughters, nigga. So how does it feel when I hit you? Bravo to you. I wrote, thank you, Shadow. I all right, so this bitch is obviously going to tell exactly what she going put to put out on the book. Talking about she about to write a book and sell it. Uh, write a book about what happened to her in 6 9 in Dubai and make some cash. Listen, man, she's going to open her mouth anyway, so don't even <laughs> waste your time on a damn book. You go, She's already going to blab her mouth already on Instagram, man, because we already know how emotional these bird-headed bitches could be. I'm just saying, but let's keep playing. I don't know if I didn't run to you or feel like you were around. I thought I was going to die. He beat me every day and forced me to have sex with him. I didn't even like... And didn't let me leave the room. I never apologized for banging on your door. But I saw it as the only chance. I was scared for my life. The way this nigga put his hands on me in Dubai. 
<laughs> fuck out of here. What the fuck? Never in my life. He beat me for hours, but I'm, I was... All right, I'm not laughing at the domestic violence shit. I don't laugh at shit. I'm just laughing at these comments. Y'all fucking... Li look at this. You don't know to... You don't know how to read, sis. <laughs> Dude probably trying to... Something... Oh, my God. Like, the comment sheet is just... Yo, that's the most fireous part of this whole shit is the comments. You already gave us a shadow's number, ma. Man, this shit crazy. Come on, now. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. But you want to make it about what niggas did to you? He goes, I swear, I wish I could have done more. The healing has already started for you, and all that's left is to live your live for you and your daughter. Listen, man. I'm going to ask y'all something, man. And, and y'all got to be really straight up honest with me about this, man. Be straight up honest about me like ladies and gentlemen man i see y'all in the comments man i see y'all in the comments man write your comments down listen listen does sarah sound like a woman who's over six nine i mean to me it sounds like she's still stuck on this dude just think about it Sarah can't move on. Sarah can't do nothing without thinking about. Listen, man, this woman still loves six nine. No matter how fucked up their relationship is, bro, y'all gotta y'all gotta understand, man. Between a baby mama, a baby mama could bring could bring the worst out of you, man. A baby mama could try to embarrass you or try to throw you in the dirt because she hurt, but really deep down inside, she don't know how to control her emotions. Just think about it. This woman, this woman was obviously in love with Six Nine. She was in love with that dude, so she felt betrayed. So I get it. But when you in love, you do stupid shit, right? So even in relationships today, everybody betrayed somebody, man. Even when y'all still together, somebody's betraying somebody. But at the end of the day, you gotta see the signs for what it is. Sarah's not moved on from Six Nine, so I don't care what it is. I think she's looking for some sort of answers. They both got egos. None of them is going to put their guards down, man. She's still in love with the boy. Sarah is still in love with 6 9 man. I don't care what any of y'all say. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. Don't be surprised if shit don't work out with this model looking bitch. This, 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 this shaking ass, stinky ass stripper, right? Because I don't trust no hoes. That's just me. You know what I mean? And I had my few run-ins and then ins and outs with strippers. But I'm just letting y'all know, like, straight up. Like, this chick is only there to secure her bag. Sarah was actually there from the beginning when this nigga was broke. So, 6 9 man, if you think that this chick, like, after a week, though, like, even the lady even said in the last commentary, how the hell do you get in a relationship with a female, like, after five days of meeting with her? You just say, hey, move on in. Simping ass shit. He even admitted to being a simp. Come on, man. I hope none of you fellas do this shit. Don't ever meet a chick and have her move in freaking five days from meeting her, man. That's crazy. And now that it's finding out, please feel free to tell the world they can ask me to speak on it. I told Tashia a hundred times that Dubai did in fact happen. He told my manager shit like that happened. Why Dubai though? Let me tell you something. This nigga was going insane. He has mental illness, bro. I think both of y'all do. So what happened? He, after he fucking cheated on me, kicked me out the crib at 2 o'clock in the morning with my daughter when, before, um, when he left to his little European tour with two bartenders that he was fucking. <laughs> that one of them he got an apartment for behind my back. He, uh, one of the bitches was demanding money out of him and he wasn't fucking with that. So he sent them bitches home and called me. Um, I was already kicked out the house before the house got raided. He, the house got raided. He panicked. He called me, begged me, blew me up, threatened me, all this other stuff that I need to come to Dubai. My dumbass, because I loved him, I went to Dubai. 
I only went to Dubai to fucking no more than an hour that I was there. This nigga punched me in my head. I had tracks and so I was bleeding the first day. And then after that, he kept on putting his hands on me. And it, it, it lasted two hours the time that me and Shadow was talking about. I was unrecognizable. He wasn't letting me out the room. But I'm a fucking liar and this nigga has the nerve to still run with the shit. Oh, she slept with so and so. This is why I did what I did. What? Are you dumb? Stop lying, my nigga. He don't take ownership. And the only reason he admitted to domestic violence is because that's what they, that's what they were going to uh, charge him for. If he didn't already admit to it. He didn't do it for me. He didn't do it because he felt sorry. He didn't write that letter because he felt sorry. Fuck out of here. Then he have a he had a whole baby on me too. This nigga did mad foul shit to me. And people want and he still wanna make it about whatever fucking lie that he wanna run with. Like at the end of the day, he did what he did to me. Like I don't even like I don't care. I've been through mad shit with that nigga. And all I do, because he got a bigger following and a bigger reach, is get fucking slandered. Because he's still a fucking evil person and I'm tired of it. Oh, man. I don't get this, man. I really don't get this relationship. I thought you moved on already. Like, what the hell? It doesn't make any sense. You got your bag. You got your kid. You can move on with your life. Do that. Then, once you with some other rapper, dude, you know, getting out of a a, a Lambo that six nine knows. Like, damn, it's like you going after all different types of people that six nine knows just to get at this motherfucker. <laughs> Don't you notice that, fellas? That women, if women got a problem with you, like you say, if your lady got a problem with you. And she knows you've been cheating. Let's just say you you you've been kind of smashing with her. You got a side chick here and there, right? But you ain't taking her seriously because you with your main chick. But then she finds out about the chick. Guess what? That chick is not even close to her. That chick don't she she don't even know the chick because nine times out of ten, most dudes is gonna smash around girls that they don't that that's not a friend of the chick. Or close to the chick. They're not going to do that. They won't violate like that. They'll fuck some other chick. Some other random chick. That you don't know about. But this chick right here is going to fuck the homies. She going to fuck your brother. <laughs> she going to fuck your uncle. She going to fuck your cousins. She going to fuck whoever in your family. Close to you. Just to get at you. That's what women do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong Like this shit happens all the time Like it's a never ending battling story In the hood When this shit happens I'm just saying At the end of the day Even through all of that I still fucking hold it down for me and my daughter The daughter that we fucking Was supposed to be fucking sharing Like get her out of here I'm just tired of it. That shit is corny, my nigga. He did what he did to me. Seven years. And his whole fucking year of fame, he became a fucking monster. And it got worse. And niggas want to fucking put lies out on me? Are you dumb? Niggas is just mad because I'm speaking on their fu favorite fucking rapper and they don't want to believe the truth. And it's not about being bitter. It's not about none of that. Like, my nigga, I'm so past it. I hope he gets out and I hope he's happy and he's full of fucking content that he stays the fuck away from me and don't bother me. But he's such a miserable nigga.
that for him to even mention that in a, in a letter to justify his actions. You know what? I got to kind of give Sarah some uh, some points here, man, because it, it kind of seemed like 6 9 is it could be making the wrong decisions, you know, rushing and fast, especially picking a chick named Jade that you barely known for five days, having a move in with you, and knowing that the fact that this chick got a man and she had a man and she left her man to be with you, obviously, because you you are, you can provide a better living for her. You have money. Six nine has money, so obviously she's she's holding on. She's there for the money. You know. I think Sarah would have been a better choice for him to stay with her, but at the same time, she probably she probably would have still hold him down. She would have held him down. She knew him for the longest time. But, you know, I just think she getting influenced by mainstream media. You can kinda of tell. That she also wants attention too. She wants the same type of attention that Six Nines get. But yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, this this uh, boy, this is gonna need a lot of family counseling, a lot of family therapy to get this one straight. <laughs> wow. Wait, I know I won't be left alone in fucking peace. Because he will always be mad at me for fucking leaving him. I was the one person that was solid that he let walk all over them, held him down. Like, get out of here. I don't care. I don't even care for child support. I don't... I have... I don't get, I don't receive child support. I don't even want financial help from the motherfucker just because I don't want anything that comes with him. And if that, if that even means money, I already know what kind of fucking ties. It's either she's telling the truth or she's just a goddamn good actress, man. Damn, it's so hard. But at the same time, I think it's bullshit. I think she's a good artist. I think she's narcissistic. And why don't you talk about <laughs> what you and Shorty did? Look at these dudes. He mad because he fuck Ed, his manager. The fuck? You fuck Ed, his manager? <laughs> yeah. I, get, uh, I can't even understand. That spelling is wrong. He going... To the hood, trust that. You don't need child support. Duck him. Danny said you duck shoddy. Is that true? See, she's not even going to answer those questions, man. Ask the questions. Ask those real questions. Ask Sarah, hey, why'd you fuck shoddy? It sound like you did. Why'd you fuck shoddy? I'm like 90% sure this bitch fuck shoddy, bro. I had a good feeling. That these two was fast smashing, bro. Ever since he came over to the house and they did a video together, they went live and shit. And I'm like, this is weird. Where the hell is 6 9 Why is Shardy, like, in the video, doing a video with this shit? Like, that shit is weird. That's dirty, man. It's in problems that brings Real dealing dirty. with a nigga like that. So I'll bust my ass for whatever my daughter fucking has. Don't tell me you fuck shoddy. What if she was tricking the pussy to shoddy? Shoddy was paying for that shit on the slide. Probably. That's why she was buying bags. <laughs> Chapiadora! Good God. Don't nobody got to take care of mine and me or mine. Like, period. I make shit happen regardless. Regardless. My daughter don't even know who the fuck this nigga is, bro. The best thing he could have did was be a shit father for times like this so it won't fucking make a difference now that whether or not he's here today or gone tomorrow. 
He didn't even mention his fucking daughter, daughters in his fucking letter of, of why he should be free. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck about being a father. He give a fuck about coming out, making money, and still being 6'9". <laughs> He, she could be right about that. I raised that fucking bum. <laughs> Alright, listen, man. Six Nine got to that bag. He's seen the open ultimate opportunity, but you also gotta understand too, ladies. I understand that Six Nine may not be the best he's not obviously he's not gonna win Father of the Year. <laughs> but we gotta be honest with you, man. We gotta be honest here. Six Nine was a kid. When he first had a baby, he was, a, was these 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 people were kids. They were kids. They were young. Kids having kids. They still young. You know what I'm saying? So for them to have a baby and shit, it's like it makes you think to yourself, like, okay, you know, he's not ready for that lifestyle. He can provide a lifestyle for it because he's got multi millions, of course. But as far as be, he's like a big kid himself, you know. Forcing a man who's 20 years old and 19 years old to become a father, it's difficult. That's why, you know, back then you saw a lot of women date older men for that network of security, you know. But that's just me talking, man. Let's keep on playing. Like, fuck out of here. He care about him. He don't care about nobody but his fucking, about himself and people that he can control around him. His mom is a fucking kawetha. His brother's always too high to fucking function. They fucking rely on him. Damn. So they let him do whatever the fuck he want, including fucking putting his hands on me the way he did. <laughs> Say you, your, your mom is a kawetha? What the fuck? That's what she said. <laughs> my daughter don't need that nigga. My daughter has a fucking nigga who plays a role in her life, which is my father. Fuck out of here. Oh, I thought you about to say shoddy. And <laughs> she said shoddy. <laughs> that shit would be hilarious. I'm just saying. I'm not tweaking. Shut the fuck up. When you have <laughs> someone's mother that... At this point, this bitch has known me since I was fucking 16. Alright? She's known me from the time that I've been with her son up until fucking this present day. And if you're gonna justify your son putting his hands on me, at least he does more for you than what his father did. You're okaying the abuse. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is funny. <laughs> she gonna zoom the camera into her forehead? She hasn't done it yet. He admitted to it. Fuck out of here. <laughs> this is funny. Like, come on, I wake up from a fucking beautiful nap and you think, like, I wake up to some bullshit? No, now, now y'all got me fucked up. This nigga got me fucked up. How this nigga beat me and then forced me to have sex with him after and every day on that fucking trip, bro. I don't even know how he was able to get it hard looking at my face with two black eyes. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, how the fuck this nigga? <laughs> First of all, Danny said that both of y'all go at it with each other, okay? Y'all used to fight all the time. Y'all had a crazy domestic violence, so stop trying to act like you the victim, too. Come on, man. You just like him. Y'all both, both alike, man. 
These two are both alike. Both alike. So here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Sarah is taller than 6'9". Okay? She's like an Amazon. He said she's a big girl. Okay. But here's the thing. Anybody compared to 6'9 is big. Because 6'9 is not the biggest dude. But he's he a small skinny nigga. Right? He's a skinny nigga. For the most part. But he's gained some weight. He's getting older, man. So he's going to start gaining some weight. He ain't going to be skinny like he did before. But anyways, man. The shit. This is this is the shit that happens. So Y'all both were beating the shit out of each other. She you know, she was you were taller than him. He's smaller than you. You was throwing see, this is why I don't understand, man. In domestic violences, man, they never see the woman ever being the instigator or ever the person who's who could actually do possibly more physical damage than him. They don't see that shit. Well, I'm not giving a pass to 6ix9ine. It was 6ix9ine. did was some stupid ass shit. And we all know, but everybody knows he, he's fucked up. So that's why he's serving his time. And, 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 you know, he gets sentences for it. But nobody talks about the baby moms. Come on, man. Like, fuck out of here. I'm tired of y'all niggas running with whatever the fuck y'all want to run with. Mm. Wow, just read the letter. Like, a bunch of unnecessary fucking shit. Why you get, like, why are you letting it get to you? Those are your fans. You're not supposed to let your fans get to you if they ask you questions. He's a disgusting person. And people that like to run on the internet. I, I usually don't let this internet shit unfaze me. Because at the end of the day, y'all don't know who I am in real life. And when I pe meet people who meet me in real life, the first thing that always comes out their mouth, yo, you a lot different than what you what people make you out to be on social media. Because this shit is evil, my nigga. I got a false narrative out on me on a nigga who can't get over the fact that I fucking left him. Okay. I get the part when she says social media can damage a person's reputation and they could all it could also manipulate individuals into thinking this person is what they are. I get it. That's cool. But if you want to silence social media and you don't want them to be thinking you're this and that, answer the questions. When they hey, did you why'd you fuck shoddy? You say, I didn't fuck shoddy. He's lying to you. Oh, that's it. That's all. I answer the question. I never smashed him. She won't answer the question though. Cause maybe she smashed a hubby. So he's like, "All right, bitch, that's what it is. Fuck you." And I'm gonna say this just so I can go ahead and run with even better for me. So I could. I know I ain't built for this shit. Nigga said what he said the day after getting locked up. Come on. I'm really not bitch and you a mother you got a picture of you and your child in the fucking as your icon <laughs> the fuck are you talking about like <laughs> you know what it is my mouth be so fucking raw that when i go off it's doing too much after me just sitting on shit I that's the new york shorties that's a new york bitch for you boy she, she ain't shutting up for nothing Keep running your mouth, girl. Sit on, I've sat on those text messages since fucking September. His own security telling me, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. He's evil. I'm happy they made him confess to it. Blah, blah, blah. Look at this shit. Pretty. <laughs> little, <laughs> little underscore pretty 348 says, y'all miserable. I said the same thing. They're both the same. They're both miserable as shit. Don't listen to them, Sarah. They don't know who you are. <laughs> what happens in your life? Man, they're both miserable. I think they both really miss each other. I wish I was on this chat right here live. I should just be like, yo. I'll type to Sarah and say, yo, Sarah, I I think y'all both really miss each other. Y'all don't know how to communicate. That's it. He confessed to it. 
um, there was proof, pictures and videos of me in the hospital with a black eye and everything. Like, the fuck? Y'all don't, y'all don't know how to communicate. That's what it is. It's a big communication problem. Once you work on your communication skills, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in a relationship, if you work on your communication skills, you can better the relationship. I'm telling you, man. Fellas, you gotta let the, you gotta try to get the woman to understand you, man. You got to bring her into your world so she can understand you. Once a woman understands you, she'll grow trust for you. Once she grows trust for you, you can't break that trust. Because once you got that trust in her, because you got to understand, you, you, you babied her. You know, you, 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 made, you, put, you planted the seed in her. You know, just like you, you planted the seed. You planted the seed in her. So you got to make sure that she listens, man. But you can't fuck her over. I'm just saying, she'll listen to you. What are y'all talking about? But y'all still want to run with, oh, she fuck The moment that she feels neglected and all that, yeah, she's going to go off and start fucking other niggas and she'll fuck niggas close to you just to get back. Yeah, is it evil? Yeah, she's on some evil shit. But we don't know. Well, I guess we kind of know 6 9 and 6 9 he's not a saint. He do some evil shit too. So, you know, they're both, both evil villains. <laughs> None of these motherfuckers is, is faces or heroes. They're both evil villains. Fuck the gang, like that don't even make sense, and that's not true. I was gonna keep it cute and keep it quiet, cause I really didn't want to speak on this nigga. I got my own shit going on. I got shit that I'm dealing with. Like, the fuck would I want to speak on this nigga if he if he gonna get what he want? He want to be free. That that's not none of my business, cause he's not. He's not being let out to be around my daughter or to make things right because he's still an evil nigga. And this letter just proved to me he's still a fucking evil nigga. And more the reason why I move the way the fuck I move on here. Honestly, don't give a fuck. For the people that support somebody like that, y'all sad. Y'all, y'all mo like y'all mothers never loved y'all, especially if y'all men. Oh, y'all hate women. If you're men and you hate women, okay. Wow. Oh wow. Wow. So Sarah says this to you men who support six nine. Y'all hate women. <laughs> wow good god this is getting crazy you men out there who hate who love 6 9 y'all hate women or, or anybody talking shit in this bitch is all niggas and you know what I don't hate 6 9 matter of fact I don't even love 6 9 either I'm not a fan of his I like I I I didn't ever even like none of the shit he did. I just thought it was goofy and and hilariously funny when he did a couple of uh <laughs> trying to get the gangs to chase after him and shit. I thought I thought that was fucking hilarious. But as as far as that goes, you would never hear me play his music like that or even buy any never buy any of his music. Wouldn't even listen to. It. I don't give a shit about that. I just think he's just a he's just a he's a comedian, man. He's funny. <laughs> but I don't know Kind of makes you wonder Okay so I guess if you support 6 9 You all hate women <laughs> Y'all mother didn't love y'all Y'all should have been swallowed Y'all don't know how to love females Ooh. Like Ouch Damn she taking it out on men now it's only the niggas talking shit. Oh, the niggas talking shit. <laughs> and some of these niggas got daughters. That's the sad thing. <laughs> She's right. Some of these niggas got their little family pictures on their icon. I don't wish any of what I went through on anybody, but if you had that happen to your daughter, let's see if you be as quick to write shit on my life. Like I never, I never seen a bunch of grown men suck so much dick, bro. <laughs> this is 
this, this, okay, so a bunch of grown men suck so much ding dong. See, this is what I don't understand with a lot of women, right? It's like they, they cuss with these sailor mouths, right? And they, they expect most men to kind of treat these women like ladies, you know, with class and dignity. But yet still, you got a dirty, disgusting, filthy sewer, New York sewer rat mouth, man. Come on. You telling everybody they all suck dick? Like, come on, man. You, you're talking to guys now. Now, now you're frustrated with men. <laughs> it's, it's, and then you got all these men on here. I'll treat you good. These little fucking sips. I'll treat you good. Look, look at this motherfucker, man. I should put your ass on blast. Put, put hashtag a walled da, a world a, a world is that word a word don da da a world da da a world da don da don whatever he's a lame six nine will never get another woman as good as you what a fucking simp look at all these goddamn simps man la boca sucia i got i got a dirty mouth my mouth, let me tell you something. Yeah. I be, when I, oof. Your mouth is dirty, though. You're telling people to suck ding dong. Come on, man. I can't even say it because of YouTube, God. You see? There ain't no freedom of speeches on YouTube anymore. Because, see, I can't even say the D word. Ding dong. Come on, man. Eggplant. This ish is crazy. How would y'all feel if that was your daughter? Goofy ass niggas, bro. Yeah. But you cursing like that, though. How would you feel if it was your daughter that was cursing like that? I niggas don't do suck dick. Damn, I hope. I don't even know, man, if it's better to be raised by 6 9 or Sarah at this moment. <laughs> I think that child needs to be taken to DCF. That child needs to be with somebody, man, who's stable. Because Jade ain't stable. Ain't she? They, don't Jade got kids herself? I think Jade, Jade got kids herself. <laughs> wow. This is unreal. Mm -mm -mm. Nigga, that was a front. I was scared. I wanted to make it home. You didn't even just hear me say that this nigga fucking locked me in a room. So if you were fronting and you were lying about that, and that's just it because you were, you were afraid of your life. That's why. You know, but I don't think you were afraid of your life. You You were helping him. So that way he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't have to serve more time. That's what it was. See, these two, man, these two lie so much. Six, nine, and seven, man. They lie so much. You don't even know who to believe anymore, man. This shit is crazy. Was not letting me out the room because he beats me and forced me to have sex with him. And I didn't have proper makeup to cover my fucking face. So he had to go get me makeup. Wow. And when he went and got me makeup that he left the room, I went. Now this happened because he admitted he did he did beat her. And I listen, let me tell you something, man. I'm I'm not I'm not an advocate of that. But this is a bad stigma on a lot of Latinos because I'm not gonna lie to you, I hear it from Hispanic women. They tell me a lot. <laughs> y'all niggas be beating the shit of y'all women, man. That's crazy. That shit gotta change, man. Y'all can't be going coming to New uh, to America with that shit. Oh man, that shit is crazy. I don't know, but uh, I'm not an advocate of that. And six nine, shame on you, because you admitted that that's that's really low and shitty. Never, I'm not a spokes advocate for domestic violence or any of that sort. So you trolls in here that's going to come on here and talk your ish. If you want to talk your ish. But I ain't paying you no mind. Let's keep playing. Banging on the security's door. Pleading. 
Please get me out of here. I have to go. When the music dropping. <laughs> Facts. She lied. I don't know if she's telling the right story. I don't know what. I don't know what to believe. But you know what? I I don't know why I kind of believe 6 9 a little bit. But at the same time, both of these two are just nuts, man. I think we all getting trolled in this bitch, bro. I wonder if they both are trolling us, man. Oh man, think about it, man. If Six Nine and Sarah got back together, man, and they started be and they started making peace, it would be boring. Cause then they'll be like a regular couple, and no violence and nothing like that. Then they, people get bored with them. They want to see some excitement. But then again, I don't know. I could be wrong. This shit crazy, yo. That's all I can say. That's what y'all fucking support. I don't gotta tell no cops nothing, cause you know what? The at the end of the day, karma's gonna hit him. He's not a good person. This right here wasn't his fucking karma, bro. He was in a daycare for a whole year. <laughs> a daycare? <laughs> it was killing him not to be able to use Instagram. So, <laughs> so she say that. Wow. Let me tell you something about baby moms, man. If your baby mama don't like you, and I don't know, a lot of men could testify, man, and say this, man. A lot of men can testify and say this, man. They've had a baby mama that's been on some real cruel, hurtful shit. And baby mamas will wish for you for, for 10 cars to run your ass over if she hurt. Most baby mama, this this is just an angry, angry, bitter woman, man. This woman is angry and bitter, boy. She hurt. She's mad. I understand that, man, because... 6 9 did mentally abuse this woman and physically abuse her, bro. But then again, is there more behind the shit on why he did what he did? And he explained why he did what he did. And honestly, I believe that that's what he did what he did. 6 9 didn't admit, he didn't lie. He didn't say that he didn't hit her. He said he did. Because he found out you were sleeping with Shadi. Why were you sleeping with Shadi? Why did you smash the homies? He doesn't give him a right to do what he did. But at the same time, the people want to know. Because let me tell you something. A cause to a man's actions. There's always actions behind a man's cause. I mean, there's always, there's always a... I ah, fucked up. There's always a cause behind a man's actions. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, let's keep playing. For a whole year. That was his punishment. He told the police that himself. This nigga was taking Molly and fucking sniffing coke, bro. On God, like. You know what? I kind of believe Sarah on this, too. Cause Let me tell you. <laughs> Six Nine said he don't do drugs, man. I don't know about that, man. I ain't never seen a man that stamps 6 9 all over his body, all over his body and his face. The man have 6 9 stamp on his face, all over his body and his face. And you want to say this nigga normal? <laughs> Come on, man. This is crazy. He do come out. He does look like a, a person that will sniff some coke. But oh yeah, up at the Because come on, man, yelling shit and music and stuff, man. He probably got coked up before he get on there. But I, I believe Sarah on this, man. <laughs> Sniffing coke. <laughs> he could say, "Hey, yeah, she's right. I did sniff coke, but you know, Coca Cola products is just something I do sometimes. It's, I, I like, I like sniffing it." <laughs> anyway let's keep playing fuck it Ollie and fucking sniffing coke bro on guard like mm. 
Well, he needs his fucking help, and he needs to stay the fuck away and not speak on me, because I don't want... Like, don't speak on me about what the fuck you got going on, my nigga. Let me tell you something. You know how much backlash? Before he got locked up, I could have been... Like, if I was really an evil bitch, I could have really been... Ruined his career in the height of it. You feel me, my nigga? Like... Between child pornography, I think, and... The yeah, you could have ruined his... <laughs> you could have ruined his career at the height of it. I understand that for, for maybe put a little din on it, but why would you? Why would you do that? Oh, because you're a loyal bitch, right? Let me tell you something. Men, especially men who are watching, right? Ain't no loyal women in this world, bro. You may have a lady, but you could all you always got to keep in the back of your head. There's a possibility she can still smash these homies. It's sad, but hey, that's just the way the world is, man. Women these days, you got to always expect for them to be fucking somebody on the side. Because this is what happens. They go, oh, no, I'm not like that. I'm not a hell whatever. They lie. All of them lie. That's what they do. I'm just saying. <laughs> this person said, look at this, Delanto. He said, he said it perfectly. Uh. Domestic violence. What he said? He said, "But when you when he get out, you gonna want some money." <laughs> She's <laughs> coke is bad. It changes people. I lost a lot of friends. Look at this motherfucker over here. Says, "But when he get out, you gonna want you gonna want some money." That's the truth. Of course, she gonna want some money, and she gonna want some money when he's not. That's why. That's why. Of course, she's not gonna like say all this stuff about him because that's gonna stop her from getting the bag. She's being. She even said she was being pop, properly secured by him. That's why she was dealing with his shit a long time ago. So you mean to tell me that she didn't want to say this shit? She didn't want to say this shit that he that she got abused by him because I loved him. Get the fuck out of here. The damn ice cream truck is around here at motherfucking two something in the afternoon. Man, come on, boy. Worst worst cases you could ever have. Period. As far as being in the industry. Nobody likes a woman beater. Period. Y'all see how they did fucking Chris Brown. Y'all see how they fucking did X. Roddy Rich is a little quiet with his shit, but he got a domestic case. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, stay scheming. Bitches try to get at me. <laughs> She's stay da 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 da. I gotta I gotta I gotta re reverse this shit. There you go. Dry snitching. Bitches try to come for me. Wasn't she just talking about dry snitching and now she dry snitching herself? Man, get your big head ass out of here, girl. You your ass was dry snitching. Your big forehead ass. You keep zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, zoom, zoom, zoom. Motherfucking zooming in your head like it's a goddamn Toyota Corolla commercial. You know them old Toyota. Man, y'all probably too young. But some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> I just keep playing. Big head forehead ass girl. That would have fucking put his career in a standstill. But you wouldn't get that. But I was so scared of the nigga. I never left or said anything. Listen, your ass was not scared of this nigga. Come on, man. Stop it. You mean to tell me you was involved with a man for over five years and all of a sudden you scared of the nigga? Come on. And you never saw these signs? If a nigga tattoo his face and his whole body of 6'9 stamped around his face, his forehead... And, uh, well, uh, well, uh, this nigga said, hey, yeah, I got a thousand six nights tatted all over my body. Come on, man. Even people say, oh, why? What does he see in this guy? He's kissing himself. <clears throat> Are you kissing him? Ugh. Everybody was saying this. Like, what the hell do you see in this guy? It was the bag. 
<laughs> it's drama. <laughs> of course it is. Don't speak on X. She's mad. LOL. Come on, man. You big forehead ass. I see that she probably deserve it. Bitch. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Uh, I feel like Jesus be testing me out to see if I'm a changed person. With these comments, bro. Hell no, I'm not scared. Pull up, nigga. Not all of a sudden you hated him. Nigga, right? I was dying when I was with him. Listen, stop it. Your ass was not dying when you was with him. Dying of what? Y'all in Dubai in the desert? I could say you dying from thirst. You want a Sprite, bitch? Come on, man. Your ass was not dying. She make it seem like 6 9 did some R. Kelly shit. Trying to, she trying to keep it in the closet. <laughs> R. Kelly ass shit. Come on, man. Step in the name of love. <laughs> ah, right, man. Cruise in the name of love. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm bugging out here, man. This shit is funny. This is hilarious to me, man. Let's keep on playing with this. Go on, Sarah, with your bad self. All right. That's not no way to be with somebody. And I didn't know that, bro. Because all I knew was him. I've been with him since I was 16. I had my family and I held on to that. At a point, I loved him more than I loved myself. Yes. Wow. How did that happen? How did you make that happen? I stuck with that nigga through a lot, so... I wasn't going to say nothing, but he put me in his fucking ladder to the judge. Don't put me in your fucking ladder, nigga. Own up to the shit you did like a fucking man if you really changed. And you not. Don't 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 speak on me. Because then when I get on here to defend myself, I'm all these fucking things. No. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. I didn't have Shadow's number saved. Like, I got so many people that are scared to speak up. Not so much scared, but don't even want to be dragged into this nigga's mess because that's all he's ever created was fucking mess around people around him. From punch to everybody. Everybody still fucks with me except the people that he pays off and can control. Mm. Because they knew what the fuck was going on. They knew how this nigga fucking treated me. Man. This is a tough one right here. Boy. But it's funny. Because they both on that bullshit. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's not a fucking changed person. He's not a good person. All the money that he gave out to all these poor kids or all the community doesn't change what fucking right and pray. He thought giving money away made him look better. That's true. He kind of he's gonna make up for all the shit that he was doing on his on his personal. He was doing extra shit. He never did nothing on his own unless it was a fucking camera in front of him for him to do it. Look, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. That's what bad people do. They gotta prove themselves like that. Look, I gave a hundred thousand dollars and 
you know she's kind of right in a way on that sense that the devil does that to fool people like hey look what i'm doing on camera i'm giving this money out hey i'm a good person that, that's true i gotta give her some credit on that but i don't mean you a saint either bitch <laughs> you played the devil's role too y'all both a bunch of demons man that's all i gotta say let's keep on playing and, try, uh, uh, and, and kid, it's fucking to kids on the street I, that's all he was ever known for doing giving money out and whenever he did that he fucking did it on camera he had to prove himself all the money you give to little ki little kids in the world but me and my daughter was living in the fucking hood He had houses around his neck. <laughs> houses. But we're living in a fucking apartment. <laughs> that one, you beat me in every, almost every other day. Two, you had niggas in the crib. Right, what she said about houses. Basically, a nigga got a motherfucker. He, he, got a, he got a mortgage payment on his neck. Like, you know, $350,000, $450,000 of gold on his neck that could have bought a house. See if 6 ix 9 was smart. You buy a house, you can go ahead and flip it and make the money for it. But see, now he's, he's making money and he's spending. He's blowing money. He's blowing money fast. He's a young kid. See, a lot of these kids, they don't think about investing. They don't think about using the money to buy property, buy land, and flipping it. That's how you can keep your money keep growing. That's how you that's how you 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 plant a seed on the ground to make it grow. And you got a tree. You got a money tree. You know how to say money don't grow on trees? That's a damn lie. <laughs> if you got the right seeds, you can grow money. I'm just saying. Let's play. Crib. Three, they came to the crib and robbed us. Well, robbed you, but me and my daughter was in the crib. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. This nigga got famous and ruined a lot of people's lives. And he's fucking ruined his life. He's evil. And I don't even think it's that ruined. Because a lot of stupid people on this defending him will still support him. Ha! <laughs> you want his life. I don't give a fuck. People will be like, oh, but he takes care. How is he going to take care? He don't. He never has. Period. His life don't take care of nobody on this side. You want his don't life. give a fuck. You want his life to be ruined, though. Did she just sell a titty? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is as hilarious to me, man. <sighs> Why he didn't buy you a crib, though? Because he felt like me and my daughter didn't deserve a fucking home. He rather, he didn't want to spend money on a crib. He spent it on his neck and his wrist. Yeah, that was stupid. He spent it on trips with fucking bartenders. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. You got a family, man. You've made multi, multi millions of dollars. You got to make sure you got a bag set and secure for your daughter to go to college and she's set. You know what I'm saying? And also, because money could blow off fast. Especially when you have all those securities around you, 6 9 you're going to be losing a lot of money. Your best bet is to invest your money. I hope that if you're even listening to this right now, 6 9 man, invest your money, man. Invest your money. Buy some property, man. Learn from the rappers. Learn from the older rappers, man, like Rick Ross. You see what Rick Ross does? He bu he's buying property. He's buying a, a, a McDonald's, like, no, 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 he got a wing stop, a wing shop or whatever. He's a franchise owner. And he's he's having his money keep generating. He keeps growing and coming back. He made an investment, so he's getting that money back. That's what you got to do, man. Let's really get into it. Me and my daughter didn't deserve nowhere safe to fucking live. And yeah, he had a full whole fucking a football team of fucking security around him. Whenever he was in the house, the security was in the house. When I, he took the security with him everywhere, didn't leave not one security guard out of all the fucking security he had with me and my daughter. You know, I believe this right here with Sarah. I'm going to say this, man. I kind of believe it with the whole security shit. If you got to walk around with security in your house while you're in the house, damn. That's not a that's not a way to live, bro. I wouldn't want to live life like that. 6 ix best bet, man, if he wants to save some money, less money on security and all that. 
your best bet is you gotta stop trolling stop showing your face on media so much and kind of lay low man be quiet keep quiet and you know try to make whatever money you can make you know but uh stop trolling others and convincing convincing others to fight you because uh you know it's only gonna lead to problems just say he didn't give a fuck about no one's safety Nigga walked around like he was Kennedy, like he swore he was gonna get assassinated or some shit. <laughs> well, I mean, shit. Took all that security with him, couldn't make sure one of them niggas, one of the. If you got half of the goddamn world want to kill your ass, I'll be sleeping next to security too. Fuck all that shit. You did you see what Six Nine was doing? You did you see the mess that he created? Shit. Fucking 10 securities that he had walking with him everywhere he went. <laughs> One of them couldn't be left with your daughter and your girl at home. Not to mention everybody still knew our address. I would have people outside my window because I lived in the fucking hood. Scream Trey Wayne. We're out of here. Y'all bug the fuck out. Y'all some sick people, y'all could justify shit like that, moving like that. He is corny. I'm about to get off this, though. On God, a lot of y'all could suck my dick. Oh, very ladylike. Who's talking shit? I mean that, like, from the heart. Oh. Uh. Honestly. <sighs> well... I guess we're living in a generation of the Cardi B's and Megan the Stallions. This is what we have that's best for us, fellas. This is the best that we get out of women. The absolute best of this generation. Sarah has proven just how much best qualities we can get out of women. This is the absolute best that we can get out of women in 2020 suck my dingy dingy dong okay a lot of people who understand me and support me i love y'all even that nigga could suck my dick at this point because oh, wow. don't don't be mentioning me period <laughs> wow don't mention me or my daughter to fucking help your fucking she said that in a real manly voice. Even that nigga could suck my dick. Even that nigga could suck my dick anyways. Shit. Bitch sound like she about to pull a dick right out her pussy. Good God. And when you don't do nothing, you, when you had it, you ain't do shit. All you did was a, be a fucking evil person. Ooh. Anyways, guys. I'm out of here. Y'all rate the video. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. You know the rest. I'm out.